Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX GUI tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how to use file chooser to pick one or more file from the operating system. So you will learn the file chooser control and you will learn how to pick a single file or how to pick a multiple file. And at the same time, we will see how to display the selected file. Here you will see. This is the checkbox. In this checkbox, we will display all the selected file. Here, we selected four file and we are displaying all the four file as a comma separated list. So this is the output of the specific button. We can also set the uh, file chooser dialog in a single file pick mode. So here if you see it allows picking multiple file we can also uh, make necessary arrangement so that uh, user can pick uh, only one file from the uh, file chooser uh, dialog so file chooser is the class from uh, javafx displays a platform specific file display dialog platform specific so if you are using windows uh, say for example windows 7 or windows 10 whatever operating system you use the standard file display dialog so that's what the fx also uses if you are using macintosh mac operating system then uh, the standard file display dialog uh, specific to that uh, that operating system will get displayed by this uh, file user uh, class. So to display the dialog, you have to. So to display the dialog, you have to make a call to show open dialog method, and this will allow you to select a single file from the system from the system in the sense of PC or operating system, whatever. The method show open multiple. So here this is open dialog. This is open multiple dialog. And if you see the class is same file chooser and what method you call based on that uh, it will allow picking a single file or a multiple file. So the same file chooser can also be used to save the files. So the time you are making call to show save dialog. So show open dialog will open the, uh, I mean the display the dialog to select files and show save dialog will open the same uh, file chooser dialog to save the content. That means it will ask the file name. So user can pick a folder then they can type the name and they can click the save button that means uh, the new file will get added to the specific uh, folder location when you display the dialog as here by calling uh, show save dialog all right so in this example we will see how to use the class to pick a single as well as a multiple file that means we will construct file chooser then we will experiment show open dialog then we will make a call to show multiple dialog we have separate button right so when a single button one is for a single file button two is for multiple file right so we will make a call to a specific method the method show open dialog will return a single file show multiple dialog will return list of files so when it is returning you the list you have to iterate through the list so it's a collection of file right when you make a call it will return a collection let's look at the sample code here if you see set an action btn file choose a single that's the name we will give it to our button and by looking at the name itself you can know the button is to pick a single file 
it's the handle method here if you see we are creating the file chooser instance naming it as file open and show open dialog so that's the method we are calling and to this we are passing the parent parent is our primary stage so the primary stage will act as a parent and this so the parent here the primary stage wants the displayed dialog next so show open dialog will display the dialog once the user clicks the file and when they uh, click the open button the call returns that means this is the blocking call once user picks the file and closes the dialog it will return and uh, you will be getting the file picked by the user so here i am using file dot get name and it will give us the file name then we are setting that to our text box so sometimes it's poss possible uh, the user simply closes the dialog the time um, you have to check for the null for the file and then get the name of the file all right file chooser show open file dialog then get name get name so show open dialog will give us the file once user closes it then we are simply making call to get name and we are setting it to our text box and in terms of btn file choose multi here if you see we make a different function show open multiple dialog so everything else is same file chooser and what it returns also different and if you see it returns a list of files here it is simply a single file right here it uh, when the dialog is displayed it allows the user to pick uh, multiple files since it returned the list of file we are getting the iterator we have a separate playlist on uh, java collection so you can look java collection to know what is iterator here we have the list and we want to iterate over the list that's why we are getting the iterator and it's a iterator over file then here if you see iterator dot has next then iterator dot next this will give a single file just uh, like this then we are making call to get name so since it's a collection if you pick uh, three files each entry will be the file instance and uh, using this iterator itr you are iterating over this uh, list so that's why in each iteration you will be getting a file and then you are making call to the get name get name will give you the file name and if you see we are forming a string and we are appending the file name so for example if it is f1 f2 f3 let's assume that this is the file name then you will be getting f1 in the first iteration in the next iteration will be getting f2 and in the third iteration you will be appending f3 to the existing one so towards the end you will get a list of all file picked by the user and we will display that to our txt selected uh, txt selected is the text field and we are setting the text whatever we formed here we are setting that all right now we will go to the demo and see how it works all right now we will close our previous example we'll do a copy and do refactor paste we will name this as file chooser example 
so when you download the code from youtube you may be seeing a different number so you can renumber it as shown here or you can leave it as it is also all right let's start so we use the same horizontal box and the vertical box as we did previously so created the hbox one with uh, select one file and select multiple file there are two button and we added both the buttons to the first uh, H box horizontal box and for second horizontal box we create a text field this is just to report how many file got selected okay we will create it as a class member so we are adding the text field to the second h box then we are adding both the h box to h rows h row is nothing but our vertical box so just like how we arranged previously we are arranging the controls so here we will display the stage rebuild is succeeded and we will run our example so that's all our controls are ready now we will implement button click event of these two and use the file chooser first uh, we will see how to use the file chooser to display a single file file is from java.io package file chooser is from javafx action event javafx event action event so that's all now we will build this and display the file chooser so when i click this button it will display the file chooser and let me pick uh, some file here so this one i kept it ready for a next day demo So here if you see when I hold down the control key I'm not able to select a multiple file I can use a shift combination whatever combination you use it will allow you to select a single file only let me select a program.cs and here if you see it shows the open button because we called open dialog and here whatever file we picked that is shown right show open dialog that's what we tested now and when the dialog is displayed it shown as the open button so this show open dialog allowed us to open only one file 
Now let us taste the second button click. In this case, we will display the file chooser to allow multiple selection of file. So java.util.list, we have a separate playlist to learn the uh, collections. Here, importing the iterator. Code was already explained and if you see, since it's a list, we are getting the iterator over this list. Then using the iterator dot has next, we get a file instance, and from that file instance we are making call to get name, and we are appending the string. All right, now we will build this once and run it. try less than 5 why because uh, here uh, our uh, text box is small but you can try more than 5 also or if your file name is a 255 character uh, try less than 5 is uh, doesn't make any sense anyhow here let me go to the temp to there is nothing the temp so last time it allowed only one file right now i'm holding down the control key clicking program.cs countmon.cs sync thread forum thread if you see we selected four and then clicking open here and here all four files are displayed program.cs the second one, third file, fourth file. And you can see the same dialog is displayed, but this time it allowed multiple files. So exceptions are not handled. Since I simply closed the dialog without picking any file uh, I throw in some exception that's all here thank you for watching bye